Hey, what's going on guys? Tommy14 here and welcome to, as you can see, Ayrton Senna's career in Ferrari. It's going to be a mega career, hopefully. Hopefully I can fight right at the top of the championship against Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas and my teammate Sebastian Vettel. So we're just getting our contract sorted there, as you saw with Emma. Now we've just got the contract deal there. And dear Ayrton, that's going to be weird to see. There you can see Ayrton Senna's helmet. We get into free practice one. And to be honest, it wasn't the smoothest free practice I could have asked for. Um, not really used to the Ferrari car. I've only done one career mode so far in this. So it's the Toro Rosso and I'm only halfway through it. And I haven't done any online. So really, this is my first. No, not really my first. But I've got sort of used to the game. But I've not really used to any sort of the Ferraris or the Mercedes. As you saw there just pushing a bit too hard and we nearly smack it into the wall but as you can see slam on the brakes just in time and actually we didn't hit any of the wall there in free practice so Ayrton said are proving once again his skill hasn't lost any of it since being out of the sport and just one last flu look how close that was but anyway that was just a small bit aside let's get Melbourne, into qualifying qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly it is a sodden qualifying, it is soaking wet, but we're going to head out on track anyway. Ayrton, as you can see, it's bright yellow helmet. Normally excels in these sort of conditions, so in Ferrari, the fastest car on the grid, arguably, he should stand a fair good chance of pole position or front row, to say the least. Master of wet conditions. So as you can see, we set in a banker time. It was P3, and we improved by 7 tenths, and we're just 7 hundredths behind Sebastian Vettel our teammate but we have one more lap in us so we're going through the first corner drifting it through Ayrton showing absolute car control through there but coming down towards turn three I think it is and just clipping the apex there is Ayrton once again proving he hasn't lost any of his wet weather skills and drifting the car through he's just dancing it finding time through all these sectors and now as we're coming to the end of the first sector we're actually purple in that first sector so Ayrton proving that he has lost no talent in these wet conditions sliding the car all over the place we've only got three laps of fuel left in max so we're gonna have to make this lap count really and Ayrton once again dancing it through there losing a little bit of time as you can see the timer dropping there but he actually gains it on the rest of the straight because we took a shallower line there cutting some ex entry and we're purple in the middle sector just clipping those curbs getting away with it making sure we're not corner cutting and we don't get all four wheels off the circuit but coming now into the last few corners of the final sector this is where Ayrton really has excelled throughout this qualified session as you can see the sun is actually coming out now so the track is drying with just four minutes left but we're going to make this our last lap we already did quite a few laps on these wet tyres because we're now right at the start of the session so coming through the final corner massive drift there Ayrton proving once again he's a master of car control but we did lose time all the way there but it's pole position by four tenths and a half so as we're coming through the first corner on our cool down lap we look at the session there and Ayrton Senna on pole position Valtteri Bottas actually skips ahead of us but as you can see zero time we skip down to p6 in no time whatsoever so i feel like we got slightly robbed of a front row by the ai there considering they'd all done their laps except well no everyone had done their laps so we got really robbed of a pole position there but we just about are being beat by sebastian vettel in the rivalry the team is not impressed by Ayrton. let's get into the race so just changing the strategy up here slightly and yeah just adding a bit more fuel because you generally use a bit more fuel anyway in the race i would say but listen to the crowd so five red lights and away we go for the australian grand prix that was a really long pause but as you can hear the crowd absolutely excited here in australia for Ayrton Senna's return now, as we can see diving it up the inside of Max Verstappen Ayrton Senna already proven his aggression and of course Australia bear in mind in Adelaide was actually Ayrton Senna's last race win so this is going to be a really special coming back for Ayrton Senna as you can see the two Mercedes there actually go wheel to wheel through the whole of the first sector Ayrton's just hanging back he's looking for an opportunity he sees a gap Hamilton shoves Ayrton his hero of course onto the grass Ayrton's not having any of it up the inside proving once and again why 
he's the greatest, or one of the greatest, I should say, in F1. And as you may have briefly heard there, as Ayrton sets the fastest lap, the crowd still chanted, Ole! I'm not going to sing the song, but anyway, coming through, you can hear him chanting Ayrton as he's coming through setting fastest laps, but we're trying to eke up to Valtteri Bottas. This is on 110% difficulty for the AI, so just want everyone to know that because I feel like a few career modes people have sort of copped out of that I guess but I just thought you, the only way you get quicker is by putting yourself up against the fastest AI so that's what we're doing Sebastian Vettel takes away Ayrton's fastest lap by four tenths actually so Sebastian running away with this race at the moment but we can't until lap four we're going up the inside of Valtteri Bottas for a Ferrari 1-2 here in Australia so Ayrton making his way through the traffic now all he's got to do is try and catch up to of course the four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel coming through the final corner and let's listen okay I thought the crowd might have been chanting for that second place the crowd clearly wanting more from Ayrton as we can see a safety car has now come out I think it's actually the VSC yes it is so you'll have to maintain that gap of course all this is new to Ayrton because the last time Ayrton raced was in 1994 before taking his retirement before Ferrari offered him a seat in 95. Ayrton didn't feel they were competitive enough back then but he always wanted to see his career out with Ferrari. We get up to racing speed and Valtteri Bottas is already looking dangerous on our back so we're going to have to defend from him but yeah Ayrton being offered the chance in 2017 after Kimi Raikkonen's shock announcement of retirement in 2016. We cut to a replay though now or outboard shot and as we can see a Haas is going so slowly through that corner. Sebastian Vettel has been slowed up. It's Ayrton Senna versus Sebastian Vettel coming into the last sector. We're going to catch Seb Napin and Ayrton has tuck it up the inside and taken first place in the Australian Grand Prix. Of course, Australia being his last race winning venue. So he's going to want to try and start off the perfect season he can. And the crowd, of course, chanting for that because their favourite driver by the seams of it is now in first place Daniel Ricciardo not really anywhere to be seen and nor is he the fan favourite anymore at Australia clearly they're all getting behind Ayrton's return but we're whacking it up to Rich try and pull away and on to lap 6 now we come into the pits for a new set of super soft tyres we're getting the pit lane limiter just perfectly there love the new pit lane system where you have to press the button to get into the pits we come into the pits for the super soft tyres engage the clutch away we go love that sequence too 2.6 seconds not a bad stop considering the tyres are much heavier this year in 2017 we're coming out of the pits Bottas actually stayed out Hamilton got preference there and we come out in what looks to be P5 that is just behind Palmer and Sainz so we're going to have to get past those as quick as we can if we're to make sure Bottas doesn't jump us in the stops Stoffel Van Dorn that is behind us so I checked twice because I thought that was Sebastian Vettel closing in on us but actually he's a bit further back after what appears to be some sort of front wing damage he had after that encounter with the Haas but we're closing in on signs and Palmer it's actually mental how fast the front three cars if you count the Red Bull are compared to the rest of the field but now we've overtaken signs on lap seven we're trying to get past Palmer here who's just he's just been a nuisance you can't really overtake that easily we dart up the inside after saying that and we've took it up the inside during virtual safety car FIA obviously either haven't seen that or seen that to be quite acceptable because Palmer's going in the pits anyway but Bottas has made his stop now so what you're going to see coming out the pits there is Valtteri Bottas on a fresh set of super soft tyres we have lost the race lead thanks to the virtual safety car and we're sticking to our delta and we're really close to him but as we stick to it now Bottas has pulled away slightly so I feel like again we've been cheated out of a potential fight for the race win because Bottas for some reason has been able to get a two second gap out of nothing during the virtual safety car so not really sure what was going on there but unless that was the gap he had to us when he crossed the line when he was in the pits but I really doubt that because I think he'd have been further behind that so cutting on to lap 12 and as you can see this is us getting closer to Valtteri Bottas we're just trying to get as close as we can really we want to be within DRS because then we've got a good chance of sticking on to the back of him and then hopefully being able to make a lunge somewhere either in the final sector or in the first corner because that's two places we've managed to 
get overtakes. Actually, did we ever take I don't think we ever took in the first corner, but the, definitely the final sector is where we've been best. But that's the end of the race. We got P2. Nearly said P15, and that would have been a disaster. P2 for Ayrton in his return. Not a bad result, considering we got screwed over in the virtual safety car. Valtteri Bottas, you know, deserved winner. He had the pace to stay in front of us once he was ahead of us, but... I feel like if there was no virtual safety car, we'd have had the lead and we'd have been able to hold off the lead. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Considering he's been out the sport for a good few years, that's a respectable, you know, thing to do. He's getting on a bit now as well, Ayrton. So, you know, great to see the Brazilian flag on the podium once again in Ferrari overalls. Ayrton Senna making his dream come true, getting a podium for Ferrari. But surely the next step for Ayrton is that top step of the podium. So there we are, there's the results, Valtteri Bottas first, us Ayrton Senna in second, Lewis Hamilton in third, our teammate Sebastian Vettel comes home in fourth, so at least we beat our well-established teammate, that's for sure, but Max Verstappen, Esteban Ocon, Jolian Palmer, Carlos Sainz, Perez, Hulkenberg rounding off the top ten, with Pascal Verlein and Stoffel Van Dorn putting in good performances to get P12 and P13, but there's the constructors, Mercedes top, Ferrari just behind in second, come on, we've got to get that. Next race is China. We've never been there with Ayrton, so we look forward to trying to get the win there. There's our current resource points. I'm going to do the practice sessions and I'll do the resource and development, you know, behind the scenes. We get ahead of Sebastian Vettel in the rivalry. Actually, we're drawing. Now we get Jonathan coming over to tell us about the classic car drivers, but we won't be doing any of that. We'll just have the pure qualifying and race in this um career mode but hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys if you did please leave a like and subscribe i know it's been a while since i've uploaded anything recent you know other than this career mode but hey people need a break i say break it's not really that it was hard i just lost interest to be honest but anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video please leave a like and until next time guys take care